Rabbits are cute. I had a rabbit as a class pet, poster child for PETA, and the French don't give a f Today will be the first time I butcher, cook, and eat a bunny. Welcome back to Bourdain. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything, waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? So I hope you're doing well, damn it. If you're not, we're still gonna cook here and hopefully make your day a little better, minus this rabbits. My name is Rich May. I'm doing every recipe in Anthony Bourdain's layout cookbook. Rabbit. It's not lapin aux olives. It is lapin aux olives. Lapin aux olives. Aux olives. I'm not going to do it again. We're taking the rabbit, butchering it up, marinating it, dredging, getting a nice sear, and cooking low and slow until it is tender. This recipe, I have found zero guidance online for. Now, I heard rabbit tastes like chicken. I will be the judge of that. So where the hell did I get this rabbit? Let's step back in time and I'll show you. Hi, do you have rabbit, rabbit legs? Rabbit, like, uh, you know, bunnies, like... Oh, hello. Hello, okay, can I help you? Hi, I was wondering, do you have rabbit in stock? Rabbit meat, do you want? Yeah. Uh, just give me a minute, uh, meat department. Hi, do you have rabbit, rabbit? Hello? Hello, do you have rabbit? Can I have you? Can I have you? Yeah, do you have rabbit legs? All frozen. All frozen, gotcha. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Very nice, okay. Thank you very much. So off to the Asian Mart, I freaking love this place. Fresh produce with unique ingredients, frozen duck among other things, live seafood. Here I didn't feel like cattle or an NPC among other places. It was uncrowded, I got to vibe out, look at some ingredients and get some frozen rabbit. There's a decent amount of ingredients here. Let's bring it down. Four rabbit legs. Pause right there. I was assuming one rabbit equals four legs, but the hind legs have much more meat than the front legs. So I'm stuck with the whole rabbit and we're just gonna work with the four legs. One small onion, one small carrot, one celery rib, four garlic cloves, two bay leaves, two sprigs of thyme, plus one leaves only, one sprig of rosemary, plus one leaves only, one sprig of flat parsley, plus one sprig leaves only, one tablespoon of whole black peppercorns, one and a half cups of white wine, Mickey Mouse cup not included, a quarter cup of flour for dredging, plus a tablespoon of flour for the sauce. Now I'm using Wondra flour, another recipe I made in the past called for Wondra flour. I have it around, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of tomato paste, one quarter cup of of red wine vinegar, two cups of chicken stock, Picholin olives. Couldn't find Picholins. So what I did was look up something similar to them. They're basically a cocktail olive, similar in flavor profile are these Italian boys. And that is about it. Yeah, yeah. Righty ho. We're gonna knock out some prep before we tackle the bunny. One freaking carrot. Celery rib. But ink, one onion. In there. I don't know if there's a recipe we've made that doesn't have a freaking onion in it. Minus the dessert. I mean, I love onions, I ain't complaining. Straight down the middle. We're gonna get these off into our bowl, which is gonna marinate. All our chopping's almost done. We just have to finally chop our herbs. Thyme, rosemary, parsley. That looks good to me. Little pro tip. I was chopping like crazier two episodes ago and I really jacked up my fingy because I was holding the knife like this. The trick is to just rest the hand on top of the blade so you don't get that crazy friction. Looks good to me. And our parsley, gather it up. There we freaking have it. All of our herbs all chopped up pretty. It's gonna be at the end of our dish, tossed in there. I really need freaking meese bowls, man. Nothing like a teacup full of finely chopped herbs. Garlic, give that a swift crack. Give it a quick peely. All right, and then we prep our marinade. We already have our veg in there. Garlic goes in there as well. Two leaves of the bay. Our whole herbs, the parsley, rosemary, and thyme. And our peppycorns. And Walt Disney's white wine. The marinade is prepped up. Let's bring out bugs. Here it is. Da -da -da -do -de -do -de. Gonna give it a little drying. Really, it doesn't look like a bunny from here. I don't know, what do you think? By the time I have posted this video, Easter was yesterday. So <laughs> uh, let's just do this. First, we're gonna go after these flaps. Follow the rib cageage. Okay, do it over here so you can hopefully get a nice view of what's happening. All right. Flabs have been removed. Next up, we're gonna go after the legs, the bigger of the four legs. Gotta look for the joint, which this seems to already have been separated a little bit. I have no clue what I am doing. Dug down in, I'm searching, I'm searching hard. I think it's actually right there, but let's see. Okay, there it is. So I'm just gonna follow that. Get right in between there. All right, cool, rabbit leg, down. This, I don't know what's happening there. 
It's freaking me out. Just gonna get rid of it. That might have been part of the leg, not sure. Just follow the hip, saw down, down. Search for that joint. Come on, uh, I think I see it. Yep, there it is, coming free. She's free, she's free, she's free. Just work that out of there. Nice. We're left with that boy. Apparently this is like a very tender part, rib rack or something like that. I was advised that this area, the tail, there isn't much happening there. So you kind of look for where it, oh, I don't know what happened there. Not sure what I just cracked. <sighs> it. This is the dullest knife I've ever had the pleasure of holding. Ugh. Okay. Let's try to carve along this. Gotta go after the baby legs, freaking baby legs. Look, right against the bones. Try the other one, sort of get underneath. Not bad. We can't get much out of the ribs from what I saw. Sort of just crack this out. You find an area, it wants to separate right there. I'm gonna get in there with the knife. Wow, this is, wow. That was much easier than anticipated. And this is apparently like a prize part. The tenderloins are right there. <laughs> Cute little rabbit tenderloins. I think I might just leave it how it is. Sear this along with our two legs and <laughs> two little chicken legs. This I'm gonna save for a stock. Gonna trim the legs up a little bit. I can chop this in half. Let's see if I can find a nice vertebrae to just go down the middle. That won't dull your knife. Into the marinade. Bang. Righty ho, so we got our marinade rocking and rolling. Just gonna give it a little toss. We shall leave this marinating for two freaking hours. I'm not gonna wait that long because I'm Mitch. It's uh, only been an hour. First thing we have to do is strain the marinating liquid and separate the vegetables from the liquid. And dump. Straining liquid, nice and, ooh, that looks gross. Looks gross, looks gross, looks gross. Now I'm just gonna bring over our rabbit to pat dry. Just gonna remove these peppy corns off. Pat, 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 tap, tap, tap. Kind of frustrating, there's like a whole bunch of peppy corn stuck in there. Great time to ask probably, how do you feel about rabbit? Would you eat it? Have you eaten it? And if you've eaten it, what kind of preparation have you enjoyed? Cause I'm hoping this is pretty good. I would hate for this to suck <laughs> Season these with salt and pepper. A foot above creates a nice dispersion of salt. I feel like this is just a phenomenal way to prepare any poultry in game really. Waste not. Dredge. I always thought dredge pertains to wet flour, but whatever. Just a nice coating, just dabbing it up. Dead over to our dry. Dredged up rabbi. Let's go over to the pan. Heat the olive oil over high heat in the Dutch oven. Add the butter. Brown the legs on both sides until they are dark golden brown, about three to four minutes per side. Dangerously close to overcrowding the pan, but she just fits. Show you how they look. It's been about three minutes, so definitely needs a little more time. However, middle of the pan is definitely the hottest. Might even just do this. Interesting, there's some blood. Uh, uh, that's freaking me out a bit. Five minutes. Yeah, that's a nice golden brown color right there. All right, let's check them out now. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking a little prettier. Let's pull them. I don't want to get that fond too black. Got a decent color. Ain't too bad. Get them off. Add the vegetables from the marinade to the pot. Actually gonna get those garlic out of there cause they're gonna get black burnt gross tasting. Getting a little too dark. So I'm just gonna use my gut here. Add a little bit of that marinating liquid, which we're gonna add already, but. It's always tricky when you're trying to like work within the same pan constantly. Cause whatever's down there is gonna continue to get black and burnt and stuff like that. Stir in the tomato paste and the remaining tablespoons of flour and mix well with a wooden spoon. Cook for one minute, then stir in the vinegar and the reserved marinade liquid. Cook over high heat until the liquid is thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. From here, I'll add our garlic, why the hell not? Stir in the chicken stock and bring to a boil. Add the rabbit legs and reduce to a simmer. Cook over low heat for one hour or until the meat is very tender. Unfortunately, we're coming down to the wire here. My pops is gonna be home to make dinner for the rest of the kids. I have to pull this off. I don't know if it's perfectly tender. It is what it is. Remove the legs and set aside. Strain the cooking liquid. Oh, it smells. 
freaking heavenly. I'm actually gonna use this pot to put our rabbit stuff in. Return the legs to the pot and bring the liquid to a boil. Stir in the olives, add the chopped herbs, season with salt and pepper, and serve on the platter. Again, the phone died 5% to say what's up. It's a little chewy, not gonna lie. A little more love. It's not bad though, the flavor's really nice. I don't even like olives. They have a nice tang. It's a little more acidic than I thought it would be, but I hate to say it, tastes like chicken. <laughs> Honestly, if you wanted to do this entire recipe, sub it out with chicken thighs and it would taste very, very similar. If I were to do this again, probably marinate this thing like overnight. Chop the vegetables a little finer, the carrots especially. Let this thing cook low and slow for much longer. It'll get tender. Happy Easter. We just made freaking rabbit for the first time. They don't all turn out perfect. I enjoy making this stuff and it's very fun to have you along. Giveaway at a thousand subscribers. This was Back to Bourdain. Stay organized, clean up after yourself. You do the best you can. Like, oh, I can start. Or like say they want to schedule me, I'll just say I can start later. Those are the cheese. Fine.